away and running at the fairgrounds. And there is Lake Runner. I'm accustomed to it flashing good speed. The Gray Reckless Sergeant, looking hot also, broke well and is in fourth as they enter the clubhouse turn where Lake Runner is out in front here for Aubrey Green. Lake Runner has made the front as they round the clubhouse turn, track by I'm accustomed to it. Reckless Sergeant and looking hot is running in fourth as they go to the back of the track. Absolutely, Mindy is held up in fifth. Outside that filly is Pat Hangirl, and in the early stages, Bad Gal Riri Trails. They made it mile here in the Monday opener. The first two of eight furlongs in 24.92 seconds, five furlongs from the first line. And it's Lake Runner who generates the pace, tracked by I'm Accustomed to It, with Looking Hot running three deep uncovered there for Jareth Ludbury. Then comes a ground saving, Reckless Sergeant, a half mile from home. Pat Hangirl is five from the front. Absolutely Mindy the rail, and the trailer remains Bad Gal Riri. Half mile for the front runner, Lake Runner. In 50.93, they enter the far turn. Lake Runner by a half length to I'm Accustomed to It, who stays close. On the outside, looking hot, coming up on the far outside, making her 19th run. And then toward the inside is Reckless Sergeant from Pat Hangirl in the brown cap. Bad Gal Riri relegated, absolutely Mindy to last as these Phillies and Bear swing for the short stretch. After three quarters, in one minute, 17.17 17 seconds, Lake Runner, I'm accustomed to it in the middle, looking hot, charging hard on the outside. Pat Hangirl is a pulled out. Then Bad Gal Riri, Reckless Sergeant is dropped back. They're a 16th out, and it's I'm accustomed to it, who's narrowly in front for Juan Vargas with yards to go. I'm accustomed to it. Lake Runner battles hard. Lake Runner, I'm accustomed to it. It's on the bob. Photo finish. Lake Runner was inside of I'm accustomed to it. Heads up and down. Ready. And they're off. The Green Moster for the lead. Bourbon Tan broke well toward the inside. There's Big Falcon Rocket, who was asked for early speed by Jose Rocalme and gets it from the Minnesotan. It's Big Falcon Rocket, who just leads the Green Moster past the stands. On the outside is Tiger Beach, who's gained third from Foolish Steve, settled with the rail as Big Falcon Rocket leads them out to the stretch. Tis light the way, and the purple cap is fifth. Then nearest the inside is Bourbon Tan in sixth. Within tight quarters, Freedom Factor held up in seventh as they go to the back of the course. The black and green hoops of Andy Tourist, who settles at the five and a half. The 10-year-old 12-time winner sharpened up, is running second to last, and up them trails the turf as they go up the back. The quarter in 24.32 seconds, making this run toward the half-mile pole. It's Big Falcon Rocket, who leads the way here at those 24 to 1 odds, flanked by the green booster. Foolish Steve is saving ground there on the rail at 24 feet. And on the outside is Tiger Beach, who's in this leading quartet as they enter the far turn. The half mile for Big Falcon Rocket. 51.02 seconds. Big Falcon Rocket, Tiger Beach's challenge. The Green Moster, as Tis Like the Way starts a bid now for Mitchell Murrell. Tis Like the Way has moved up into third. Foolish Steve has been saving ground in fifth. Then Freedom Factor in sixth as they come toward the top of the stretch. Andy Tourist sharpened up the wide out off the turn and toward the inside Bourbon Tan. They straightened away. Half mile was 51.02 seconds. The run the final furlong and a half. And in front here, a short lead for Tis Like the Way as Indy Taurus near the stand side rail is charging home. Freedom Factor dropping back toward the inside was Tiger Beach. And then comes Sharpened Up. They're close to home. Tis Like the Way and Indy Taurus. Tis Like the Way, a repeat course winner. Tis Like the Way just sees off Indy Taurus, then Sharpened Up and Freedom Factor. They're off. Racing one mile. And here's Kitten of the Court who strikes out. Good speed, you and me, Honey Bunny with Blue Ridge Queen. An early bid in between horses as they head toward the clubhouse turn. And nine line bind angles in, gets some position. Out in front, it's Blue Ridge Queen who kicks on to the front here for Pedro Canto Jr. It's Blue Ridge Queen in front of you and me, Honey Bunny. And sharp starting Kitten of the Court is right there in third. Six furlongs from the first line finish. Nine line bind is fourth. Then toward the inside, Stars Dream in fifth. 
Midnight Trip. Black with the Red Hearts is sixth here. Going up the back on Valentine's Day. Then a break of four more to the grade two of the ten. Star Prado green sleeves with the rail. And Hot Molly has dropped back to last. The opening quarter in 24.11 seconds from here, a half mile from home. And it's Blue Ridge Queen and You and Me Honey Bunny moving through now for Aubrey Green. And these two vie for the front. While racing three clear from Kit to the Court, coupled with Toward the Inside Stars Dream in fourth. Midnight Trip is fifth. The nine line bind a wide sixth. Two of the ten, Hot Molly, Star Prado. Half mile 48. Point seventy seconds as these Phillies mares come into the final quarter of a mile. And it's Blue Ridge Queen still in a battle here with you and me, Honey Bunny, Kitten of the Court. Then Stars Dream, Midnight Trip, and Hot Molly looks to unwind on the far outside as they come for the short stretch after three quarters in one minute, 14.39 seconds. Blue Ridge Queen disposed of you and me, Honey Bunny, but Hot Molly is charging hard now for Renee Diaz, a 16th out. Here comes Hot Molly, who descends a Blue Ridge Queen. Hot Molly has reeled in Blue Ridge Queen. Hot Molly has won it. Blue Ridge Queen was second. Stars Dream third. And Midnight Trip finished fourth. And they're off. And here's Money Well Spent, who strides out. Top ten Duchess toward the inside. And Spellbinding toward the rail as they head toward the clubhouse turd. It's top 10 Duchess, who's just a leader for Orlando Mojica, as Spelldining now moves through for Relu Gutierrez to vie for this lead with top 10 Duchess out to the stretch with money well spent getting position for James Graham as they go to the back of the course. G's deadline the gray in fourth. Break of a length and out then to Savvy Shippen in fifth. Baluk is sixth. They'll actually be seventh at the five and a half. Then Air Guitar Star, and while saving ground for Aubrey Green, my little Jen has dropped back to ninth and last. 25.26 seconds for the opening part, and it's Spellbinding who leads the distaff turf field to the half-mile pole with Relu. Spellbinding out in front of a tracking top 10 Duchess. Money well spent in third. G's deadline savvy Shipman. Here's my little Jen in the orange cap making progress on the rail. Then Baluk. Lil Ashley B, the trailer air guitar star as they turn again. Half-mile for Spellbinding in 51. Point twenty two seconds around the far turn. Spellbinding leads top ten Duchess by two and a half. Money well spent with for the inside. My little Jen looking to sustain a bid. G's deadline savvy ship and wide off the turn. And it's Spellbinding who drifts off her line in the final quarter of a mile. We trail back to air guitar star Lil Ashley B and Baluk. One for long to go. And here comes Bunny Well Spent. Sammy Shippen near the stand side rail. Spellbinding gives way. G's deadline toward the inside is top 10 Duchess. They come past the 16th, and it's Savvy Shipman. Money well spent. They battle to a Bob. Photo finish. G's deadline will be third. Photo heads up and down. Money well spent. And Savvy Shipman close. Good luck with your pick five bets in the gate. They're off. Even start. Shoe trick. Path to success in the Royal Blue of Godolphin and Mosh Pit toward the rail as they enter the clubhouse turn. For Marcelino Pedroza Jr., it's Shoe Trick, who's just a leader from Path to Success with an early bid. They have seven furlongs to run. Mosh Pit in third, three quarters length then to Chigi's Nelson in fourth. Grand Muchacho in the red cap and sleeves. And steadied back by Orlando Mojica, Tis a Big Mick has dropped back to sixth as they race up the back stretch. The opening quarter in the 24. Point seventy four seconds at the five and a half. It's Shoe Trick. Shoe Trick leans by three quarters length as James Graham keeps Path to Success close. So it's Shoe Trick out in front from Path to Success. And now Renee Diaz looks to move Mosh Pit through. And uh, that hold closed up on Mosh Pit as the front runner, Shoe Trick, holds that position as they go past the half mile pole. TG's Nelson ranging up on the far outside. Grand Muchacho between horses. And the trailer remains Tis a Big Mick. A half mile in 49.30 seconds. This is three for longs from home. Path to success has forged ahead of Shoe Trick. TG's Nelson in range for Mitchell Morrow coming toward the quarter pole. Then toward the inside is Mosh Pit. On the far outside, Tis a Big Mick and Grand Muchacho is last as these maiden three-year-olds straighten away. A couple of furlongs still to go. Three quarters, one minute, 14.67 seconds. Path to success. Charging Mosh Pit in between horses. Giving way was Shoe Trick. TG's Nelson. Tis the big Mick and the white blinkers on the far outside. And here's Mosh Pit. 
Mosh Pit for Rene Diaz. Mosh Pit has colored path to success close to home. Mosh Pit, path to success. Tisabit Mick is third to Mosh Pit, who scored the winning run from path to success. Tisabit Mick was third, then a gap away, fourth, Grand Muchacho from Shoe Trick, and TG's Nelson flattened. And they're off. And here's American Deputy who strides out toward the inside. The newcomer, something right. And dial 10 for G starts an early bid now for Deshaun Parker. Dial 10 for G has taken the front. From something right to second upon settling with American Deputy in third as dial 10 for G leads them out to the stretch. Zen in the maroon cap with golden twist. Then dressed to impress. Hunting on the gray is saving ground while in the back half of the field. Dressed to impress corners a bit wide. Then comes Clara Bell, CeCe's cowgirl, and the newcomer Union Grad has dropped back to last as these maiden three-year-old fillies go to the back of the course where dial 10 for G has come clear by some nine lengths with five furlongs to run. So the opening quarter for dial 10 for G in 24.18 seconds, the 18 to one leader. Dial 10 for G is out in front here, but tracking something right to in turn, has three and a half on American Deputy, who's galloping along in third, Zen follows her. Then toward the inside is Honey Run, as they go to the far side of the fairgrounds course, Golden Twist, Clara Bell, CeCe's Cowgirl, dressed to impress in Union Grad, half mile in 51.14 seconds. Dial 10 for G, Holding on to this lead, but now with three furlongs to go. As something right gets her cue to pick up the leader, dial 10 for G, still six clear. At the turn in from something right, Zen starts a bid now for Declan Carroll. Moving through in between Phillies is Zen. American Deputy getting reminders. And Honey Run sweeps on the far outside now for Brian Hernandez Jr. Three quarters, one minute 17.18 seconds. And it's still dial 10 for G. Here comes something right. Honey Run charging hard. Zen looks to move up between Phillies near the inside. American Deputy Clara Bell. They're close to home. And Honey Run. Honey Run. A big run from the gray. It's Honey Run's day, one by five. Second photo, Clara Bell dived at the line with something right close. American Deputy with Zen. And then dial 10 for G. CeCe's cowgirl, dressed to impress. Go They're off. Nice line out. There's Australasia flashing good speed. The rail held by Short Summer Dress, who's now dashed up to the front for Adam Biskitza. And right there is Euphoric in the red cap in pursuit. Australasia broke real sharp for Kobe Hernandez and is lying in third for this run to the half-mile pole with a sort of style in fourth. Paleo flag in the gold silks and Sterling Miss Trails. The Phillies Amaris sextet with 33 wins between them and inside a half-mile to run. The quarter for Short Summer Dress in 22 Point thirty seconds. They round the far turn. Short summer dress. Right there is euphoric for Brian Hernandez Jr. between horses as a sort of style strides up in the three path. Father out this Sterling Miss. Here's the inside is Australasia and held up Palio flag. Close knit field as they come for home past the quarter pole. Top of the lane, half mile 45.83 seconds up for grabs. Sterling Miss stand side with assertive style in between horses. Toward the inside is Australasia who's moved through inside of short summer dress who's dropped back. Far outside Palio flag. They come past the 16th. It's Sterling Miss who's just in front of assertive style. Assertive style. A Sterling Miss on the outside, a sort of style for Orlando Mojica has won it from Sterling Miss in a driving finish. Australasia, Palio flag, euphoric short summer dress. They're off. Where Bema's boy was awkwardly away, drifts back to last. There's Mr. Hustle, who broke smooth. Perfect Spidey in the gold sleeves of the white cap. Spanish Kingdom, TD Dance, and Cash Logistics is also forward as they head toward the clubhouse turn. With Mitchell Morrill, it's Mr. Hustle who leads out to the stretch from Spanish Kingdom, TD Dance, Cash Logistics, Perfect Spidey, Lucky Curl, and End. Bama's Boy is last as they round the clubhouse turn where Mr. Hustle leads Spanish Kingdom by three as they go to the back of the course. Break of five more then to TD Dance, who's in third upon settling. Perfect Spidey holds the rail. Cash Logistics is racing a joint fourth at the five and a half. And then in the hot pink, it's Lucky Curlin. And outside that for Angel Suarez. Bama's boy is last after an awkward start. The quarter in 23.69 seconds. Mr. Hustle generates the pace. 
Mr. Hustle to a half mile from home as Spanish Kingdom remains the pursuer. TD Dance is third. Perfect Spidey joined at the rail by Lucky Curlin looking to make progress. Cash Logistics is why Bama's Boy is last. Half mile for Mr. Hustle, 49.22 seconds. But now Brian Hernandez Jr. makes this move with Spanish Kingdom to take the lead as on the outside, Colby Hernandez has TD Dance up to engage Spanish Kingdom. Spanish Kingdom, TD Dance, they're together as they come for the quarter pole. To the inside, Lucky Curlin with perfect Spidey between horses. On the far outside, Lucky Logistics. Bema's boy, the one who tailed off was Mr. Hustle. They're in the final furlong. Spanish Kingdom in a scrappy battle with TD Dance. Perfect Spidey, Lucky Curlin down there at the rail. Cash Logistics, and toward the inside is Bema's boy, who's finishing well. They drive toward the line. Four-way thriller here. Cash Logistics on the wire with Spanish Kingdom. Bema's boy on comeback. TD Dance was right there, too. Great finish to the turf. Fairgroundsracecourse.com. Here comes the last. And the gate. And they're off. Perfect Perigee was quick out of there. Shambliss flashing speed. Von Dom on the far outside. And Mean Cannon from the rail. And they're all part of the pursuit of sharp starting. Perfect Perigee. Who rocketed to the front for Rene Diaz. Mean Cannon second, three quarters length to Von Dom in third. With on the far outside, Chambliss. In between horses, Gallant Star looks to move through, but just held up their Gallant Star as they head toward the far turn. A priority storm with second to last, Harbor Knight. Three furlongs from home. And uh, Money and Me trails the state bread sprint here in the Monday nightcap. The quarter was 22.94 seconds. Now at the two and a half. And it's perfect perigee paving the path. Perfect perigee in front of Mean Cannon, who's now one off the rail. Von Dom, Chambliss, and Harbor Knight is five wide. Gallant Star, a priority storm. And the final favorite, Money Me, was last as they straightened. Half mile in 46.56 seconds. It's perfect perigee, who's holding on to this lead. Opens up here by three. Von Dom is charging toward the inside. Under pressure, Chambliss running on. Uh, it's Chambliss on the far outside. Harbor Knight. They're close to home. It's perfect perigee. Perfect perigee. Von Dom. Perfect perigee. Rene Diaz scores the hat trick. Holds off Von Dom. Then Chambliss, Harbor Knight, Mean Cannon, Gallant Star, a priority storm, and Money and Me.